me and Mark have been fishing together, I think, since before he got real popular, I know that. We started off fishing that little DOA shrimp, and it seems like every time we get together, that DOA shrimp is always the one that comes out and catches the biggest fish. I'm not convinced with this, sir. I think it's time to uh, head back toward the inlet. Mark actually was telling us that the bite is gonna turn on and it's gonna be a small window bite of only like 20, 30 minutes. And sure enough, he popped and hooked a big fish right off the bat and I could have sworn it was a snook. There's a fish. There you go. Hello. Oh. oh, no. Now for Mark, that's like, you know, you're on television marketing your product. We hadn't caught a big fish yet. It was kind of the save the show fish and he loses it. And you can see that he is deeply troubled. Yeah, it didn't feel like it did anything wrong on that. But I did. 20 seconds later, he spanks about an eight pounder. There Fish on. That looks like a big trout there. It's a nice trout. I don't know how big, but it's a nice trout. Burying in the grass. There it goes. There's a fish. All right, double. We finished the show with a double seven pound trout, which in anybody's TV show is fantastic. So I say that's a wrap. Well, the fish heads aren't gonna get out of the water because the fish are biting. So Blair spanks a nine pounder five minutes later. That is a nice trout, dude. I'm telling you, that's a nine, 10 pound trout maybe. The fish that we caught in the third segment was actually caught five minutes after we closed the show. So it just goes to show you that when Mark and Blair get together, anything can happen. Y'all get down here to Stewart and catch you a big old trout like that. This show with Mark Nichols had a moment that I think was probably one of the funniest things I think I've ever seen on fishing television. Talk about how I'm doing it? Yeah. I'll ask Mark to give me a tip. He's the best seminar guy in the business in my opinion. So he's given this tip, and behind the camera, somebody steps on a mud duck. And so you want it to go from up tide to down tide the way it's looking and expecting the bait to come. I just heard a, I just heard a trout fart. It's so weird. You don't hear trout farts yeah. very often, but it's just the, the miracles that happen out here in nature. Trout's one of my favorite fish to catch. I felt like a little kid out there. and. Uh, you know, anytime you're fishing with Mark, you feel like a little kid. <laughs>